Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations, currently at the MFJ Enterprises site, www.mfjenterprises.com, a link to which I will provide in the description of this video. Uh, in a uh, previous video I made a uh, little discussion about tuning small loop antennas and it didn't really seem to catch on all that well but I noticed on this website right here something called antenna talk so I went there out of curiosity and found antenna talk number six MFJ manual loop tuner considerations. Let's look at that. Now here is an excellent paper on manual loop tuners, the way that uh, loops, small loops, work. Uh, some basic loop antenna theory, a small transmitting loop antenna has a conductor length or circumference of less than one quarter of a wavelength. Uh, I believe I had said a tenth of a wavelength in the previous video. I meant diameter roughly. But a small loop antenna has a, a very narrow bandwidth. Very narrow bandwidth. Tuning is very sharp. And uh, efficiency can suffer unless care is taken in the design and setup and loop of the loop. That means minimizing the loss resistance. Very high RF currents, and it goes on and on and on. And I recommend that you read this. Um, I'm not going to put a link directly to this site because they change so often. I'm going to put a link. Uh, a loop to the MFJ Enterprises website. But I have become interested recently in small loop antennas. Now if you have a uh, 1080p resolution screen you're going to be best off with this particular video as with most of my videos because they do contain a lot of detail. In fact on my screen this video will render with such detail that I might get it confused with the actual computer screen and start clicking on things in the video <laughs> but this is just one way to do this uh, and uh, there are others this can be adapted to mobile work uh, with the a loop antenna that's remotely tuned. I don't know if they still make that or not. But I've become interested in this because of uh, this looks very much like my deck right here interestingly enough. But anyway uh, I will end the discussion here so as not to make this unduly long. Go there and read this paper for yourself and decide what you, whether you're interested or not. Stan Jabalisco, proprietor and operator as W1GV saying 73 and so long from, well, not the Long Wave Ranch, but the Black Holes of Dakota Territory, United States of Antennas. Until next time, so long.